won't you pull me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost, let's turn up the love Now it is way too late, but I just can't get my eyes off of you Maybe we will regret this But tomorrow is another day And I will do anything I will do anything to get your love Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Because it's on guys and welcome to another extremely motivational cleaning video. This video is filled with tons of real life messes as usual. We are keeping it real around here and we are going to make this messy house nice and tidy. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it encourages you to clean your own home. If you are new here, hi, my name is Madison. I am a wife and mom of three boys, Carter who's 12, Henry who's four and Jack or almost four in January not quite four <laughs> making him grow up too fast and Jack who is one and a half my Henry is in a lot of my videos helping me clean recently he hasn't been in as many just because he's been busy doing his own thing but he still loves to clean so I'm sure he will be in more videos he does make an appearance in this video a little bit but anyway if you enjoy tons of cleaning motivation decluttering or 
organizing, home projects, renovations, makeover type of videos, then definitely subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And if you enjoy this video, it would mean the world to me if you would give it a thumbs up. That really supports my channel and it lets me know that you guys enjoyed the video. So anyway, let's get into this. I am so sorry that I haven't posted a video in a little while. I just wanted to take a step back and spend some time with my family over the holidays. I'm sure you guys can understand that, but I am feeling so well rested. I feel so good, so much connection with family that it has just encouraged me to post more videos and do lots and lots of cleaning and makeovers and all that fun stuff. We do plan on doing our living room makeover hopefully soon where we're removing walls, painting, all of that fun stuff. We do plan on painting it the grayish color that we painted the kitchen. Someone asked me that in the comments, which by the way, guys, I'm so sorry. I haven't been as good about responding to comments recently, and I really need to change that. That's something I want to change in the new year. I have just been so exhausted, and I really just needed the break that I took. So I am feeling a lot better, a lot more well-rested, and just ready to tackle the new year. So I hope you guys got some rest as well well and that you are feeling rejuvenated and ready to tackle the new year as well. Just to share a little bit more about me, I am a homeschooling mom to my younger two and my oldest I used to homeschool, but he recently was put in public school. I think we are going to change that though. So if you are interested in homeschool type stuff or my daily life or get it all done videos, motivational type mom type videos, then definitely go subscribe to my mom channel. I'll have it linked down below and on the screen. We are also trying trying to conceive our fourth child. And I've been posting a ton about that, especially recently after we had a miscarriage. So, which honestly guys, you, so many of you left me so many kind comments during that time that you guys made such a difference in my life during that time. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Y'all make a huge difference in my life just in so many ways. I have just been working so hard on my YouTube channel towards the end of 2020, and I'm so excited for 2021 and just for you guys to come along with me on this journey of life. So anyway, if you want more personal videos, I'm really hoping to post more on my mom vlog channel channel slash advice, TTC, homeschooling, get it all done, all that fun stuff. I'm excited to do some get it all done type videos, some like mom life videos where I motivate you guys to do like meal planning, grocery shopping, working out. I've been on a weight loss journey and just all of that fun stuff that doesn't have to do with cleaning. The cleaning and the makeovers though, they are staying on this channel and I am just so excited. We also are planning on making over our laundry room area. I may talk about that a little bit more once we are cleaning in there in today's video, but that will be another like big makeover coming soon. So I'm just so excited about the new year and I hope that you guys are too. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading Doing what 
I thought I would update you guys on the ongoing saga of what to put underneath my high chair if or my baby's high chair if you have been watching my channel for a while you know I have tried out quite a few things but I have finally found it you guys and if you have a baby I will try to remember to link this down below it's from Amazon but it is amazing you guys it's perfect i have tried so many different things and like i tried getting a table um cover you know what i mean people like a blanket thing they put on the table what is that called i don't even know but anyway i tried that that was probably the best thing but after a couple of washes it would just fall apart and it would scoot around a ton my baby would grab it i tried trash bags my baby would grab those and of course those just didn't look very good underneath there this is super cute it actually has this like rubber stuff on the bottom that keeps it from scooting around and then i just go and shake it out outside and then throw it in the wash and it's super hardy so it lasts it has the coloring of my kitchen so it matches so i am so happy that i have finally finally found something it's like really easy to wipe down because it's not a rug material it's like a smooth material so it's amazing we have also added a ton of rugs i don't want to talk about that too much in this video because i think i mentioned that in my last video but it really has made our home like our floor a lot cleaner it's just having like we got that rug in the um by the back door 
from Lowe's they actually like cut it for us for the proper size and it feels like a carpet and it is really sturdy and perfect because I have my boys coming in and out dragging dirt in they play outside all of the time and having that long rug really catches it as long as well as having them leave their shoes outside um, but as you can see there's little feet with just socks on them I am like one of the few that wears shoes inside the house and my family I'm wearing house shoes right now so you guys should be proud of me although you shouldn't be proud of that pedicure I really need a pedicure I think I'm going to treat myself um, as like a Christmas present or something uh, to a manicure and pedicure but anyway I like wearing shoes inside I don't know but at least the rest of my family my husband included they have started putting their shoes by the back door and that makes a big difference and while I'm talking about that I guess I'll just mention that we are going to redo our laundry room which is by our back door and we're going to turn it into like a mud room laundry room area so maybe I'll get more details once we're actually in there so you guys can see what I mean but yeah I'm super excited about that because having everyone take off their shoes has made such a difference and then having the rugs to like collect things this tile even though we painted it it still like holds on to dirt and everything so we love that we painted it and it's really holding up we're in love with it we added this glitter to it so in case you're wondering we do not regret painting our tile at all we actually love it but yeah having a bunch of rugs in our kitchen which we didn't have before has made a big difference when it comes to the cleanliness of the floor and the ease of cleaning so as you guys can see even with taking their shoes off they track in a lot i mean there's tons of leaves outside right now and it's just it's a lot we have this um, kind of rug on top that I got for Christmas and I don't like it there. It moves all around, which is something about rugs that drive me crazy. And I think it looks weird. So I did take that out. Um, I think it's enough just having this long rug in here, but yeah, we're just doing, we're just doing our best to keep these floors clean. You guys, it is an ongoing struggle, but that's just life with kids. Your house is not going to be perfectly clean all of the time. And that's okay. <laughs> just to wake you up when I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this We did get a new steam mop, which I will try to link below as well. Our last steam mop was amazing. We loved it, but after I think we had it for about three years, it finally died on us. So we got a new one. A steam mop is essential for our home. Look at that. Don't you love the transformation? It's just so satisfying. Feels so much better, so much less anxiety inducing, doesn't it? But anyway, we're really liking this new steam mop. And in this video, we also use that steam mop to clean our couches. Oh, by the way, we're going to make over this half bathroom as well. We're just doing like a small makeover on this. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. But anyway, we are going to steam our couches, which we do a lot because with three boys, our couches get very dirty. Even though I try to tell them not to eat on the couch, whatever, they still just get super dirty and their sticky fingers touch it and everything. So steaming the couches is essential. I'll talk more about it once we get there, but a lot of people ask me, what device are we using when we're steaming the couch? It's always just one of the attachments from our steam mop. So that is the case for this new steam mop as well. So if you just get the steam mop, it comes with all the attachments and everything so you can use that to steam your couch which I highly recommend that for cleaning a couch especially if you have a couch that doesn't have like covers that come off that you can throw in the wash or whatever ours was reupholstered so they don't have that I'm loving this moment can 
One of my big goals for 2021 is to remove that wall, or at least I think what we're going to have to do is where the um, light fixture is, we're going to have to leave like kind of like a pillar or something there, and but we will remove the rest. Guys, can you imagine the lighting? It is so bright over there, and to just bring that over into the living room as well, and then be able to see our dining room and really make over our dining room as well, make it really pretty. I am just so excited for all of that. So that is something I just cannot wait for in 2021. We will have been living in this house for... I think it'll have been a year, maybe in March. We moved in like right when the panic started happening. Am I even supposed to say that word? I don't know. Maybe I should cut that out, but I know YouTube doesn't always like that stuff. But anyway, look how dirty these couches get. You guys, it's a problem. <laughs> anyway, though, I just cannot wait for all of that. Um, you know, it takes time to be able to save up the money and um, have the time and everything to do makeovers, but there really is so much you can do with paint. And, you know, in this case, we'll be removing a wall, but we won't have to get a beam or anything like that. So yeah, there's just so much you can do. And I'm just so excited to show you guys that we did that in the kitchen. I'm so excited to share the dining room, living room, entryway makeover as well.
So something that I struggle to declutter is my kids' art, especially since I do homeschool. My little guy has tons of arts and crafts and stuff that he does, and he just immediately is like, okay, cool, cool, let's put this on the fridge, like, let's go. And I make excuses for it too because this is, oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if that's slime or what. We have a lot of slime in our house, but there's something that got on my oldest son's like really nice polo pants like it's only nice dressy pants if you guys have any idea how to get that off we've been like picking at it and it's just it's a struggle so anyway if you have any ideas please let me know but yeah he gets really excited about putting on the fridge and i you know make excuse for it because it's just a laundry room fridge but this is where people enter the home and it does make it look really cluttered so i don't know i finally took some of those just like scribbled pictures down and i did throw them away don't tell him it was hard for me to do it was really hard for me to do but i did it <laughs> and i know he'll make more wonderful art and there is a ton of art that i keep stored for him so that he's made but anyway in our laundry area this is also the back door so we plan on turning this into a mud room so where the washer and dryer is right now and those like cabinets oh this above area of the fridge i just had to work on decluttering this a little bit boxes and random stuff just gets put up there and this is another reason why i'm excited to do this makeover there's many reasons but i think this area is going to look a lot more clean and organized once we do this but where the washer and dryer is i want one want to put one of those built-in mudroom type things you know that has like a bench and there's little cubbies underneath and then hooks and cubbies above um, so that they can put the kids can put their shoes there and hang their backpacks or whatever and we'll have really good organization and then just do a washer and dryer on top of each other as i'm telling you guys this i'm thinking did i already tell you this in my last video guys please forgive me it has been a while it's been a minute since i um you know did the my last video because i took a little bit of a break for the first time in forever so i am so sorry about that but maybe some of you guys didn't see that video so i apologize but my husband and i get so excited about doing like makeovers in our home it's something we bond over which get, brings me so much joy because honestly guys one of my dreams was to have like a relationship like chip and joanna Gaines from fixer upper and of course our relationship is not the same as theirs but i just always thought it would be fun to have like you know do like makeovers with your spouse and have that be like a hobby that you do together so it brings me so much joy that we have started doing that random side note this is some of my clothes i have actually started buying clothes again for the first time in forever it's just been hard because i've been struggling with my weight for years and then also have had two babies in the past four years and so my weight goes up and down and it's hard to justify buying clothing but i have been treating myself to some clothes and i feel so good about it and even if you know, I lose some weight or I gain some weight. Like my clothes that I buy kind of go with me. Like I wear a lot of yoga pants and stuff. So in that sense, they kind of gain 10 pounds or lose 10 pounds, they still fit. Um, and I'll buy tops that are kind of looser in the tummy because I've had two babies in four years. And so my tummy is not super flat even when I am thinner. But then if I gain a little bit of weight, you know, they'll be forgiving. So I try to be smart about the clothing that I do buy. And I'll buy it like jackets or shoes or whatever, just little things for myself to make myself look good. That is another like goal of mine for 2021 is to just like, I don't know, guys, it just kind of care about my appearance a little bit more than I have not just caring, but like I have always cared about my appearance. I just feel good. I want to feel good. That is is so gross you guys that is so gross anyway i want to feel good about my appearance i want to put time into my appearance and put money into my appearance a little bit not too much but you know a reasonable amount so that's one of my goals
Since I have decided to mention my goals for 2021 in this video, I guess it's just on my mind right now. And I feel like it's inspiring, you know, or interesting to hear. <laughs> so I thought I would just mention a few more real quick. Um, one is to read more. This is a big one for me. I love reading. It's like something that I truly enjoy. I read so much as a kid. And then I also really believe in it as being such a positive thing for everyone, but especially children. So I want to read more personally. And then I would love it if my husband and I would read some together in the evenings, like the Bible or whatever. And then I want to read to my oldest more. That is something that is really fulfilling to him and me. We really enjoy doing that. And we did that a lot when he was homeschooled. So I want to find the time for that again. And then of course, read to my little ones, which is something I already do a ton because they're home with me all of the time. Um, and then another goal is to go on family trips and just spend a ton of quality time together. I'm hoping that we can finally make that happen this year. And then my third goal is to work out five times a week. I just want to be a really healthy, active person. I think that will help me with my struggles with my weight. So that is another goal of mine. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what your goals are. I would love to hear it and maybe i'll need to add those to my list i always have lots of goals any time of year but especially this time of year it feels like a fresh start and it's just kind of fun so as you guys can see we have moved on to steam cleaning the couch this is something that my husband does so you may notice he's the one that does it there are a few things that he just does cleaning wise in our home recently i have asked him to clean the shower because i just despise it so when i clean the bathroom in this video you may notice i don't clean the inside of the shower and that's just because i hate it and my husband is very sweet and willing to do it so he's also really strong and he just does a really good job at steam cleaning the couch. Um, this steam mop has a different attachment than our old one. Um, and you may notice it looks kind of like scratches on the couch. And we were honestly a little bit worried at first. Jack is so cute. He was loving trying to help his dad. He loves his dad. Dad. So it was really sweet, but, um, they see us cleaning, especially me all the time since they're home with me all the time. It's a perk of homeschooling is they see me cleaning. And so they just naturally want to clean. Like Jack is 18 months old and he tries to like wipe the floor and just do whatever he can to clean. It's just something that they are around. So it's a real perk, but anyway, um, so it kind of looked like it was scratching the couch which scared us a little bit but then once my husband went in with the attachment that's on it right now and smoothed it out it totally went away but it really does a good job see it's that that attachment right there it does a great job on getting rid of tough stains about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out
had this conversation And you seem to agree with me But when there's complications You withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem You become like a wall And every time I trip It's a free fall Why don't you have As you can see, the trash in this bathroom was completely full. A lot of that was ovulation test packages because we are trying to conceive and I recently posted a trying to conceive update on my mom blog channel. So I will link that, that down below for you guys and on the screen. I also forgot to mention earlier that we have been working on the ring in our toilet in the half bath area and my husband has almost got it off but i don't think i think that he did that after i cleaned in that bathroom so these are much older toilets and toilets are just gross guys let's just accept that they're gross but they are a part of life and a part of cleaning you know so i show them i show real messes on my channel that's just me. That's just who I am. I'm pretty real in real life and online. So anyway, we are working on that though. But yeah, it's, toilets are gross. It's just, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know yeah. No more, no I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know No, 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 it's no more, no I really thought we had it covered Was gonna pass
touch up all the scars But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down So due to Christmas, my closet got really out of hand. I'm going to blame it on Christmas and then I'm also going to blame it on the fact that I ran out of hangers and I wanted to wait until I could film it to use the new hangers. I love having nice matching hangers in my closet. I think it makes such a difference. It creates uniformity and it just, you can see your clothes better when you will have all the same hangers. So I love it. I get my mine from Target or Walmart. Mine are not like all the same brand, but they're basically the same. Like they have, you know, they're that like, why can I not think of words today? But you know, they're that material and I like them a lot. I do want to totally revamp my closet. I need a better situation for my shoes, especially as I get more shoes. I also want to totally redo my husband's closet and just really organize it. So that will be in future videos today. I just wanted to get everything off of the floor, even our Christmas, our matching family Christmas PJs that we never took a picture in. I'm so mad. My husband has two days off, like a four day weekend, which is amazing. So maybe we'll take a picture, but yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat We keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know So I am also blaming this area of my room on Christmas. These are actually some gifts for me besides that leopard blanket. That's from Walmart and I gave that all, I gave all of my nieces one of those blankets for Christmas because they're super soft and comfy and really cute. So it was a great find and they seem to all really like it. And Walmart should still have it because I recently purchased it. So if you're interested in that, you should go check out your Walmart. But anyway, the rest were gifts for me, which is so sweet. You know, as an adult and a parent, whenever you get Christmas, it, Christmas presents and get to open them on Christmas, it's just, it feels really cool. So I feel really blessed, but they were kind of a mess. So got that organized and decluttered and picked up, you know, after Christmas, you have some returns you have to make exchanges for sizes and different things. So plan on doing that very soon. You've seen all the things 
Yeah.